I've been a long time Mac user, and I've always believed that Macs are more secure than Windows PCs. But is macOS actually safer than Windows? There's this common misconception that macOS can't get viruses. You've probably heard a Mac user say, I don't have to use antivirus. There's antivirus protection built into Mac. I just do whatever I want, and I don't have to worry about getting hacked. And there is truth to that, but these days it's also true about Windows. Both Mac and Windows have built-in antivirus. Apple's solution is XProtect, and Microsoft's solution is Microsoft Defender. Microsoft Defender started being bundled with Windows Vista in 2007 as Windows Defender. I was sure XProtect was included in macOS since the very start, but it didn't launch until macOS Snow Leopard in 2009, two years after Microsoft launched its solution. So why is it that Macs have a lower number of attacks and security incidents than Windows? According to a recent global threat report from Elastic Security, Security Labs, macOS was responsible for just 6% of malware infections in 2022, compared to 39% on Windows and 55% on Linux. macOS is built on Unix, which has a strong security infrastructure with user permissions and sandboxing. At its core, macOS focuses on sandboxing and isolating apps, which prevents them from interfering with the rest of the operating system. Apple also added a feature called Gatekeeper, which verifies that software you download is actually from from the author it claims to be from. This prevents you from accidentally downloading a phony version of Google Chrome or Microsoft Word. Newer Macs with Apple Silicon even have hardware systems in place to improve security. Apple started this journey of using hardware to improve security with the T1 and T2 security chips that were previously added to Intel Macs. Apple built on this with pointer authentication in Apple Silicon, which helps reduce memory corruption attacks. These attacks can lead to malware installation, crashes, and full system takeovers. As impressive as this sounds, Intel and AMD have also implemented hardware security features to protect Windows. Windows 11 requires TPM, or Trusted Platform Module, which supports secure boot processes. And Windows offers some powerful isolation features like App Sandboxing and Application Guard. Application Guard prevents malware-infected sites you visit in Microsoft Edge from affecting your computer. But this is where things start to get weird. Both of these features are reserved for the Pro and Enterprise versions of Windows 11. If you use Windows 11 Home Edition, which comes pre-installed on many consumer devices, you won't get access to these features. You also cannot enable full drive encryption with BitLocker in Windows 11 Home. It's restricted for the Pro and Enterprise versions only. I have a hard time understanding why Microsoft reserves the best security features for the high-end versions of Windows. In my opinion, the average computer user is most likely to fall victim to accidentally installing malware. Despite this, Microsoft restricts some security features, likely so they can sell more expensive software licenses to organizations. And even Microsoft's enterprise version of Windows is susceptible to major system crashes, as we just saw a few weeks ago with the CrowdStrike incident. To be clear, this was not a security incident, but the erroneous update crashed everyone's system by causing a kernel panic. Kernel panics are much less common on macOS since Apple deprecated kernel extensions in 2019. In fact, the latest version of CrowdStrike's security software for Mac uses standard user privileges, meaning the same erroneous update shouldn't cause the entire system to melt down. But despite macOS including all security features in all versions of the software, that's not the biggest reason why Mac seems to face fewer security incidents than Windows. Ultimately, it comes down to market share. Windows has over 72% market share on desktops and laptops globally. When compared Compared to the 14% market share of macOS, it becomes clear why we see more security incidents on Windows. There's much more incentive to target Windows. macOS absolutely has malware, and in fact, malware detections on macOS are increasing as market share increases. But since most of the business world runs on Windows, think banks, universities, and hospitals, bad actors are much more motivated to target Windows than Mac. So while Mac has a slight edge over Windows, Windows, mostly thanks to the tight integration between software and hardware, the truth is that both Mac and Windows have high quality security mechanisms in place. I don't think there's much more Microsoft could implement in Windows to protect users as long as they want Windows to run on any hardware. Apple has a security advantage by controlling both software and hardware, but we need options on the market that can run on any hardware. Honestly, I think the biggest security quirk of Windows is not including application sandboxing, 
Application Guard, and BitLocker in all versions of Windows. I don't understand why these features are excluded from Windows Home Edition, and I hope to see them added for all users. Now, I've talked extensively about both operating systems' security features, but another thing to consider is how macOS and Windows handle user privacy. Apple makes it clear that they have a huge commitment to user privacy. It's evident in their marketing materials. For instance, Safari has a built-in tracker blocker and privacy report, and users can choose whether to share analytics data with Apple. To get the most out of your Mac, you'll need an Apple account, which is used to download apps from the App Store and sync files with iCloud. Since Apple makes their money selling hardware and subscriptions instead of advertisements, they're not incentivized to collect user data in the same way that Microsoft is. Microsoft has a shady reputation for user privacy. While Edge has a built-in tracker blocker, Microsoft has been caught tracking users before. Windows Home Edition requires you to sign in with a Microsoft account upon installation, and Microsoft has an optional program allowing you to share analytics to help improve Windows. Microsoft is known for collecting user data at every possible chance with telemetry. They have much more incentive to collect user data since they have an advertising network similar to Google. So in the end, which operating system is safer? Mac OS is indeed safer than Windows. But before you leave an angry comment, I want to make it clear that the difference is marginal. Both Apple and Microsoft have done a great job securing their operating systems, and I mostly came to this conclusion because Microsoft is withholding security features from the home edition of Windows. Apple still has a slight edge because of the tight integration between software and hardware, but if Microsoft adds all security features to all versions of Windows, I'd say the security is comparable to Mac. From a privacy perspective, Apple has a better reputation for respecting user data, but it comes at a cost, literally. Macs are expensive. The hardware is sold at a premium. And that's because Apple has to make their money somehow. If they're not making it on your data, they have to charge more for you to access their product. Ultimately, macOS is not the savior operating system that's so much more secure than Windows as some people might claim. Macs get malware too, and if the market share for macOS exploded, so would the instances of malware. So should you buy a Mac strictly because it's theoretically safer than Windows? Probably not. You should buy whatever computer you want to buy and use it confidently knowing that both Apple and Microsoft have made huge advancements in security over the past few years. You know your situation best, and your privacy and personal information is a huge part of it. In reality, your personal info like your home address, email address, and phone number is plastered all over Google. This is a massive privacy concern and can lead to spam calls and texts. The best solution is to use a data removal service like Incogni or Delete Me, and I did a comparison to find out which one is best that you can check out here.